I know I'm late to the party on these Mythic Legions toys, but I'm going to say it anyway. Listen to me closely. This line is going to massively shake up the toy industry. I haven't even opened it yet, and I think that. Let's bust this puppy open and find out if my initial impressions are correct or if they change. What's up, everybody? My name is Matt, often called Big Nerdy. We are the NWO, the Nerd World Order, and this is... Looking and reading about Mythic Legions, it reminds me a lot of Masters of the Universe. First of all, obviously in the character designs, a lot of them are very similar, but also just the way it hit the industry. So Masters of the Universe started off as a comic book slash toy, and they adapted the cartoon from that. So they created the IP, then they created the toys afterwards, which is not the way that normally works. And this is following the same cycle. When Mattel released Masters of the Universe, it really did shake up the industry that was really just Star Wars back in the early 80s. And I think that this line is gonna do the same thing, especially in the wake of No More Toys R Us. A lot of these small art style toy companies are really gonna struggle to get distribution because Toys R Us isn't there to buy in small amounts like they have in the past. Mythic Legions has a very unique distribution approach in that most of it is Kickstarter style from what I understand. Then you can go back and buy them later on the secondary market, a couple of toy stores sell them, but for the most part, they do it Kickstarter style to get their toys out there and into the hands of their fans. For my first Legions figure, I had to buy it off of eBay because I couldn't find them in stock at any normal store, and I got Malleus. I think I'm saying that right. I chose this guy because he looked cool. Got that Skeletor looking thing going on, slash skull, plus, all right, not Skeletor, but here's the thing. He can totally stand in and be my Lady Death for Thanos. Let me out of that plastic prison. Snap. All right, he's open. Or she, I don't know. First impressions. Wow. Uh, I've just been sitting here playing with this for a minute and here's a couple things, first of all. If you're an articulation fiend, we'll start off with a negative. It's pretty average to below average, but that's not what these, that's not what makes these special. Here's what makes these special. Well, we'll start with, it's really the sculpt and the paint, two things. Like, take a look at that head. Look at the details. Look at the face. He's even got an articulated jaw, for goodness sakes. Give me food, articulated jaw. The deco throughout, rather than just painting on the layers, it's actually layered on plastic that's molded on there. The paint is incredible. I get, like, the amount of paint apps on this are stupidly amazing. The details, like, it, it just looks really good. Now, one of the cool things about this line is it's made to be highly customizable, so you could pop the head off, pop someone else's head on this body. You can even pop the neck off and change things around. The collar comes off. Uh, yeah, pretty impressive. All the shoulders, arms, all that stuff is made to come off of these, from what I understand. So, like, hey, we want to add wings to this guy. Okay, cool, now he can fly. Look at those gloves, the gauntlets. Tell me those don't look amazing. You can't, so don't tell me that. So there's a closer look at his head with his little articulated jaw. And you can see like just amazing paintwork throughout the sculpt that's on there, all the little etches and details. It's really, really incredible. So he comes with two axes. Each one of them comes with a piece of axe on and then it comes with an extra piece of axe for it. Now, in order to put that on, you have to pop off this little triangle, which you can do pretty easily. I either use a pair of tweezers, but then you just get the peg and you can make a Gimli style axe. He also comes with the sword and a belt for the sword so he can wear it. Like if you wanna be like, hey, I want you to look more bulky, let's bulky up. We got these shoulder pads that actually have spots to pop in so they stay in place. Ta-da, bulked up. His little crotch piece comes off too. I don't think I have his little sword belt on correctly, but it looks cool how it just kind of sticks on there. So, uh, do you have a sister? Die. All right, I'm impressed. I need to learn more. I've said it before and I kind of didn't follow through. Now it's really time to follow through that I've actually held one of these in my hands. Uh, they're, they're really unbelievable pieces of art. It's something that I would compare to like a Mafex level. I mean, probably better to be honest, but here's the thing. The retail price point is like $35, $40 for a standard six inch figure. You look at that compared to a Marvel Legends and you guys know I love Marvel Legends because really it's the characters they represent, but the value that you get out of this, it's more. Like I can't tell you differently, it's 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 more. And it makes sense, you're not paying licensing fees, so it makes sense why you can get a better value. But as toy collectors who are in this for the art and really enjoy the art of it, these are incredible. I'm a terrible painter, so I, and I'm not a great customizer, so you won't be seeing me getting into that end of this, 
but it would be really cool to set up some nice diodes with these. Uh, and I think I might actually do that, play around and get a couple more of these guys. Definitely not a completionist type thing, but having some of these, you know, just to have a couple will be cool. Maybe I'll just do like a faction. They do have a backstory to all of these, so I'm gonna look into that and learn more. But yeah, these are amazing. I would love to carry these on the Nerdzoic toy store. So hey, Horseman guys, if you're watching, let me know how that works because none of my distributors carry your stuff. If you're a Mythic Legions person finding this channel for the first time, then drop me a sub. This channel's all about action figures and escaping life's adulting craziness through toys and nostalgia, and you're probably gonna like me. Remember, till next time, you have to get old, but you don't have to grow up. Just be cool and stay nerdy. Later.